and Sindran. Game four is correct. The International Five Grand Final. Not only money at stake, but also the pride of taking. Gonna loop themselves into the middle at the same time. EG had exactly the same thought. It's gonna be smoke on smoke. The smoke will break and Fierce can have that call down. The Fierce gonna keep Dragon Knight out with the Rocket Barrage. The hooks come in for Samael. We'll take the first blood. Isolated XZ and it's gonna be no problem. Samael jumps over him again. The main, the whole clockwork in position of Fear. The Rocket Barrage doing some work with the Instair. Garland wants the team be out. They don't have damage to kill both of them. Earthshaker commits the Echo Slam to ensure the kill. Meanwhile, aggressive almost finishing up this tier one tower, but EG just moved themselves up to mail. He's got another jump up your sleeve, but they did and, and clear camps faster. EG's coming to fight. Clockwork gonna luckily walk himself up onto the high ground, but unfortunately for the Wyvern, there's a fissure, there's a Samel jump in, as well as the ice blast from PPD. Very heavy commitment just for a kill over on a Wyvern. They are finding the farm that they want on the field, but he's the only one. Storm sure. Spirit, long jump on bottom, they're going in for the clockwork, but then you've also got that embrace. It's the Storm Spirit that's been locked up by the Curse and Laguna Blade. And this is the peril you have as a Storm Spirit, where CDEC... Man, it really feels like though, CDEC, like there's no real bench here. The experience is a little bit going the way of EG, there's nothing in the gold. But it's only like 4k. Oh, that's a real trouble right now for Garda. The stun's gonna miss. He could turn around and try and nuke on Samal, but it's not gonna be any, any good. Samal will bottle back up again. But EG still are not addressing the major issue, which is this Phantom Lancer. An under 20 minute BT drum diffuser blade up for aggressive. Okay, that happened. <laughs> Blink, echo slam, and call down. Zerboard's watching him closely. They'll see him put down a remnant. And they're already gone into the drag the DK dragon form. So we had to instantly blink, stun, God gets his last record ready to connect, and they'll use the curse with Laguna Blade to mail! Oh. Almost able to jump the animation with Stop the Universe right in the back of Garda. You've got the cooldown as well. This will instantly kill off the Lena. But now the Hawk shot as well. Exe's looking for a good line. And he completely walks it off to the side. Universe will get the stun, but the DK's doing a lot more work, especially when the splinter arrives in from Q. Two heroes down for EG in this tier two tower, starting to get chipped away. Keep him alive. There's a couple of things which are falling apart. Samel just tried to TP to the tier one tower and accidentally cancel his TP. So he's Paul Lightning out, running up the Wyvern. I suppose this might make up for it, killing off the Winter Wyvern on the hillside. But Wyvern did get the Observer Ward down as he was dying. So we're gonna haste through and already trigger over, over on Storm Spirit, but it's the smoke movement coming out with the rest of EG. A CDEC is not in a bad position for this, they're just around the corner, including Hookshot. So Garda, as well as Shiki, they're not liking where they are, and actually Shiki just leaves Garda for dead. He blinks himself away to safety. He's thinking about turning as Garda with the Hookshot in, he gets Laguna Blade over on Samael, and Samael, he's practically out of mana. The Ice Blast over coming on top of the Dragon Knight with the Echo Slam control. It should be enough, Samael, the curse is on him, Universe has to turn around to try and kill off his own teammate, as Universe actually going to get a double kill. He still didn't kill his teammate for Clockwork, the Embrace is there, the Fissure Control, a triple kill for Universe, but now we see Aggressive coming online. The Phantom Lancer, insanely difficult to deal with. He's going to doppelganger himself in to find PPD. He'll pick up the kill, and it'll be a two for three trade off, and the big one for EG. Losing the Storm Spirit now down to four Bloodstone Troll or something like that. Then it can be really, really tricky, right? It's definitely possible DK, to make it. Form. He's coming after PPD. Blink, stun, free fire. A quick glance, but the fish is going to find the space here for PPD to at least get the ulti off. Universe wants to walk in. He's actually got Blink and Echo Slam available. With a BKP up from Dragonite, there's very little reason to use it. But with Storm Spirit having this fresh Orchid, who can't see the, see the EC by surprise. They throw out more Lancers, just keeping vision on fear. They jump in. There's your curse to Mal, going in deep over on Wyvern. He's already used his ability, but here comes your call down. Dragon like over there for some the keeping Universe out. No Echo Slam forming back. He's actually gonna push it back out with the cogs. Universe will drop, and maybe even one after it's gonna be a double kill for Samal. The Song of the Siren allowing EG to reset Samal, not with a great amount of mana, but four times the all gonna come back off call down. They can control the clockwork. He will take a fall. But aggressive is on the run. The PL will still survive, and we'll probably TP bottom to take up all the money there. But this fear needs to have that damage dealing item. But in order to do so, he's got to drop either his TP scroll or sell, sell the Ring of Aquila. And some mail, blink, dragon tail stun. God is going to be here with the hook shot as well. They're going to fight some mail. The Colts burn. The Colts burn bought them a little bit of extra time. 
EG are interested in contesting this 4 on 5, but maybe they can delay it long enough for it to be 5 on 5 if they Ice Blast and Fissure properly. There is no hook shot. Uh, they're all together. PPD, here comes the Ice Blast. Ready for the dog! In from Yubis! It's a disaster! CDC! They're gonna get wiped from the face of the earth apart from Aggressive. He'll jump out, but the Wombo combo perfectly hits from Evil Geniuses. And now they will take Roshan. The male is back, they'll get the egg into the Immortal. Yeah, they don't even need to buy time. When they have superior vision and CDC have no idea it's coming. EC, now look for the opening on EG. Now some males are in the perfect position for this. He is going to see an Invis rune, potentially going to jump down and grab it. And now they can curse him up. Link is fear though, it triggers. That wasn't the curse from Q, however. But the PL just runs himself down to EG, taking out a lot of fierce mana. Now remember, Aggressive does have the full heart for this fight. Last record race is going to fall without the universe. Big jump and they get cursed off. This is a good call for Universe and Samael. And the hook shot is off mixing. He's going to split the fight up a fear. Find the damage to Mail. Aggressive being put under in the cool embrace. We pick up in a moment. Doppelganger, one second. The Song of the Siren. They need Aggressive to die instantly. The four is able to Doppelganger. Shiki as well. There's your Doppelganger. Shiki has one chance to survive a little bit longer. We're splitting up the fight. But there goes your PL. Dragonite, the cold feet, and the earn charge. They're both taking him out. The cogs will push back. He's got enough life to survive, they actually repair it with another Urn Charge. And AUI, yeah, he's not going to keep up with the Dragon. There's Clockwork, oh, the canceling of TP. Vortexing XE back in. A three for one trade off. Dragon Knight lucky to survive, and he can't even get back. His TP's on cooldown. There's 32 seconds before the DK can TP back to base. He could lose his entire racks in that time. Yeah, he tried to TP out earlier. This should actually be a lane. I don't know if EG are aware of this, so they might start moving back if they feel any bit of pressure, but Fear doesn't care right now. He is definitely up front. Now, the male going in deep, chasing up the cues. They just need a couple of kills to be TI5 champions. With the Wyvern, he down for the card. Fear, fully wicked sick. They're gonna bring in the Titanic as well for fear while this push continues. As the tier 3 tower drops DK, only now is he TPing back and he's still gonna regenerate. The melee racks will drop. EG, how much respect do you give? The PL is up in seven seconds. They're going to rotate themselves over to the tier 3 tower. They do not want to overstay their welcome here, but they may just have the confidence to keep on going with that fresh Titanic. Shiki Dragon form up, gets us an over on fear. They're moving forward with a hook shot in the eye. Perfect on Zenek! They keep the battle going! Some Mel might be low on mana! They need to keep controlling Fear CDC if they want to try and win this game! The Fear finds more! He's actually been trapped up the curse, holding him here for now! DK will buy back and they're dragging back the clockwork with a vision stun! CDC are running out of heroes, aggressive! Wants to come out and find some kind of collateral kills! But EG are turning tail and running for now. Universe is ready to turn. He's got Echo to slam up. He doesn't believe they're going to come back. Call down aggressive. The call down. The perfect position. There's your Echo slam. Aggressive. Locked in position right now. He got embraced up by the way. The Wyvern of him moving forward as well. TK about to drop. Aggressive on all survivor. CDEC. It looks troublesome. It looks really, really bad for them. Aggressive on the run. Universe right behind him. They keep running out. But GG well played. EG are your TI5 champion. Here in King Arena, they have managed to do it. Third place in 2014. It looked rough dropping down the lower bracket. They had to play the best of three and the best of five today. But they have persevered. And they will claim the Aegis of the Immortal. They are the champions here in front of their home crowd. Running out for GG, well played. EG are your TI5 champions. Here in Key Arena, they have managed to do it. Third place in 2014. It looked rough dropping down the lower bracket. They had to play the best of three and the best of five today. But they have persevered. Champions here in front of their home crowd. See the EC though. Fantastic data from them. They played all the way through the winners bracket. Huge props to them. But evil geniuses. They are the team. They claim the glory, claim the huge prize ball, the largest one in the history of Dota 2. And what a team to deserve it.
champions of the international Evil Geniuses. super pumped right now. That's about it. <laughs> PPD, what about you? I just can't believe we did it. It's, it's real. I'm going to get down here too. How are you feeling? Get a hold of this agent. What? Are going to let you hold it or what? I guess. I'm uh, holding it. Like... There you go. That's how you do it. What do you think was the key to how strong you've been able to be all week. Uh, we just kept a positive attitude and we just kept grinding and we took the, the lows with the highs and I, I don't know, we just, we just kept with it. Samail, I know this has been a great experience for you too. What does this mean to you and what does it mean to bring this victory home to your family? I mean, it just meant everything for me, so we got it now. Feeling pretty excited. And yes, we get to get some money from our family. What do you guys want to say to all of your fans who have been with you this whole time? Bleed blue! One more time, let's give a big round of applause to all 16 teams who have participated in TI5. It has been an amazing year. We also want to thank all of the fans, to all of you who are here in Key Arena today, to all of you who are watching at home, who have been following along on the stream. Thank you so much. This community is outstanding. And one more time, give it up for your TI5 champions, Evil Geniuses!